This is Eric Linwood back with more self elevated spring power universal exoskeleton armor updates. And I've been working on the spine some more and I added some more protection as I work on the spine and the mechanical aspects of it. Right here in this part, I wanted to um, stop the hinge from moving too far side to side and I wanted to add more protection. I did it with this reinforced, um, basically, it's a waistband. Well, protects more of the lower ribs. Uh, um, and then I got the belt here. It goes around the waist area and takes more of the lower spine. I, um, another reason why I want to build an artificial spine is I wanted to add more protection to the spine. I wanted to still maintain the flexibility for the exoskeleton itself, and but at the same time still have more protective plating as possible. This suit is more all about protection and being tough and lightweight and getting the more most enhancements you can put to the body for a spring non-powered. Everything's working out pretty good. Um, like I said, I added this extra piece here, and like I said, um, it allows it to go so far, and then it stops, and then the spring activates. So it's got a lot of range of motion. And you see now why I cut the back piece like I cut it, so I can get the full range of motion. That's what I was saying. And you see how it's meeting up there. It's so much. Like I said, it's only so much. Good thing I got that vest on up under of it. And then I can add a hard plate in the back of it. And that way it can still shift up under here in the exoskeleton. But the exoskeleton itself still gives me the flexibility I want. Now with the double springs, um, I got double the um, spring power for it's bending forward. Double the stability, turning left and right. And then... Instead of having one spring with being kind of flimsy, the two springs itself, they help stabilize each other. And being when it's pressed to my back, this plate here, it helps stabilize the um, artificial mechanical spine here. Because they work, this exoskeleton works in sequence with your body and your joints. Instead of making an exoskeleton that's trying to figure out how the joints move exactly, I use the springs because they're more flexible than anything I've seen for is doing directly as a joint. They still elevate weight. They still give you feedback with no power. For every action, there's opposite or equal reaction. So for every power that I put in it on the opposite motion, I get that power back plus the muscle motion I'm putting in it. And that's in both degrees, whether I bring the leg back or forward. The knee works in one degree, just squatting or bending it, but kicking it. But that's literally how you use the leg anyway. You don't bend the leg back that far the opposite way. But with the spring um, loaded back, you move it over there and it gives you and it helps upright you. You lean this way, the spring helps upright you. That's another reason why I put the stop in there. So if you get so far, the spring will kick in and help pull you back up. I put the slide mechanism and I put that catcher in there so it won't come out. But that way, when you bend forward and then springs activate, um, the mass of your back becomes more the length. Whether you realize that the skin and stuff scratches out. The exoskeleton wants to do the same thing. That's why it's got that slip in there. And then I made it stop. That way, when you put the force of the backpack or whatever load, like I said, you see it's pushing the whole exoskeleton. It, it could hold 75 safely. With I know I could probably... With the exoskeleton, my body type holds 75 safely. Um, it, it could potentially hold more than that, especially with a stronger person. Like I said, I am disabled, but I'm doing by the specs of me being who I am disabled and what the, I know the suit, I could uh, do the capacity with the suit just for is what it allowed me to hold up. I'm not going to be running around doing too much or whatever. I'm just doing demonstrations with the suit itself to show that it works. But in general, I'm just for main thing I'm talking about my body type with this size exoskeleton with the springs and the circumference of them and their capacity. I'm looking at 75 safely. Um, anything else, just your own risk, but it's possible to get up to like 100, maybe 30 pounds with a stronger, healthier person. And um, that's just simple mathematics. But everything's working out fine. I'll show you the range of motion. Of the spine again and notice i cut that plate like that so i could get that full range of motion in the back like i said when you it's you're trying to get full range of motion out of exoskeleton so and so much armor plates you can add to it i'm looking at more enhancing it and then like i said being that i got you can literally still put a, a um 
vest on with hard plates or soft Kevlar um, ceramic, whatever you want up under this. And you can actually mount this directly to a back of a holder that holds armor plates if you want to do that. Like I said, and, um, but at the same time, I plan on doing this composite too, wrap still on the chest piece and this particular back piece. I'm going to start there. And um, the shins and the thighs, maybe get it too later, but for now, I'm going to do the chest piece. So for right now, it's a man of I want it thicker and stronger. Not to make it for it's necessarily more protected, to actually make it stronger because I did use a thinner material, but I wanted to use a thinner material because I plan on putting the composite on there because it would have been stronger structurally, but lighter than just putting a thick, thick piece of aluminum. And then it's insulated um, from electrocution with the composite material on there. Put a fire retardant in the um, composite material itself, and it'll be fireproof too. And then the rest of it's literally metal. But um, this is basically where I'm at on that. Everything's looking pretty good. Like I said, basically up on 12 springs, two in the ankles, double jointed knees with lock ins, double jointed hips, and then double jointed back with two degrees of lower motion. Um, free range of motion, spring elevation system, and then sliding um, block system to support the backpack. 75 pound capacity. This is Eric Linwood, and I'll be back with you with more self elevated EDF slash spring power universal exoskeleton updates.